Hello, Indian Creek 8th grade students. This is Mr. Roush bringing you the second part in our Great Depression FDR series, Roosevelt's New Deal. So while we're watching the video today and taking notes, think about our guiding question. What actions did President Roosevelt take to get America out of the Great Depression, and what were those results? So think about that while we're watching the video. So with the nation's economy crumbling, the Democrats believed they had a good chance of winning the presidency. They met in Chicago, and they chose Franklin Delano Roosevelt as their uh, Repub or Democratic candidate. Herbert Hoover was running for re-election as a Republican. So by looking at this map here, President Roosevelt ended up winning by a landslide, and he was bringing a fresh approach to politics. Uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt was a New York senator in 1910. In 1913, he was the Secretary of the Navy. 1920, he was the vice president candidate, but the Democrats lost the election to Warren G. Harding. In 1921, Franklin D. Roosevelt had polio, which caused both of his legs to be paralyzed. Polio destroys your nerve cells in your spinal cord. And he asked journalists, the journalist not to photograph his leg braces or his wheelchair, fearing that he would look weak. So a lot of the pictures, he would be behind a desk or sitting in a car or sitting in a chair. In the months before Roosevelt took office, the economy worsened. Protests in some cities erupted into violence. Meanwhile, the banking system was collapsing. As many people rushed to withdraw their deposits, more and more banks went out of business, and people became desperately afraid. So, at his inauguration on March 4, 1933, Roosevelt told the nation that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. He reassured people and pointed out that the greatest primary task is to put people to work. He also promised immediate action on the banking crisis. Just two days after Roosevelt was elected, he ordered all banks to be closed for four days. He also called Congress to a special session in which he presented the administrator's plan for handling the banking problem. About seven hours later, Congress passed and Roosevelt signed the Emergency Banking Relief Act. The act proposed a wide range of presidential powers over banking and set up a system by which banks would open again or be reorganized. By mid-March, almost half of the nation's banks had reopened. He also reassured the people that it was safer to keep your money in a reopened bank than under your mattress. The next day, people went to the bank and deposited far more than they were withdrawing, which ended the banking crisis. With almost everyone having a radio in their home, President Roosevelt would help uh, the public gain confidence in him by holding fireside chats. Firehide, fireside chats is where the president would sit by the fire and informally talk to the public over the radio. He would also he would often refer to the people as my friends, and this helped him seem just like a regular normal person. Now the first 100 days of his presidency was called the 100 days which is a special session where Roosevelt proposed new programs to deal with the economic crisis. And between March 9th and June 16th of 1933, Congress had passed more than 15 major pieces of the legislation that he called the New Deal. And the New Deal affected the banking, stock markets, industrial, agricultural, public works, relief for the poor, and conservation of resources. So this was his solution to the Great Depression. President Roosevelt gave high priority to creating jobs. He planned to help the unemployed with work relief programs, which is giving needy people government jobs. During his first month in office, he asked Congress to create the Civilian Conservation Corps, which provided jobs for young men, and they would plant trees, build bridges, or do anything that would benefit the public. They worked on, he also created the Federal Emergency Relief Administration, or the FERA, which gave relief to the unemployed and to the needy. So in over 10 years, the CCC provided about 2.5 million jobs to young men 
to help benefit their communities. On May 12th, Congress passed the Agricultural Adjustment Act, or AAA. The act had two goals, to raise farm prices quickly and to control production so that farm prices would stay up over a long period of time. In the first year, the supply of food was way higher than the demand, so the AAA could raise prices only by paying farmers to destroy their crops, milk, and livestock. To many, it seemed shocking to throw food away when millions of people went hungry, but the New Dealers claimed that the action was necessary to bring prices up. In the first three years of the New Deal, farmers' incomes rose by about 50%. This showed that the Agricultural Adjustment Administration was working. Now, one of the boldest programs launched during the 100 Days was the Tennessee Valley Authority, or TVA. The TVA aimed to control flooding, promote conservation, and development and bring electricity to rural areas along the Tennessee River. By building new dams and improving others, the TVA ended the region's disastrous floods, and with the hydroelectric power generating affordable electricity, thousands of farms and homes in the southern states were wired for electricity for the first time. Some people argue that the funds for the TVA should be used to support programs nationwide and not just in the Tennessee Valley. And other, like the power companies, also attacked the program, saying it was unfair and communistic. But when the spring rains came in 1937, the system worked. Dams prevented the Tennessee River from flooding, and in the end, most observers agreed that the TVA was an example of a successful social and economic planning. On the last day of the 100 days, Congress passed the National Industrial Recovery Act, which Roosevelt called the most important and far-reaching legislation ever passed in the United States. The NIRA aimed to boost the economy by helping businesses regulate themselves. The NIRA created the National Recovery Administration, or the NRA, which encouraged businesses to set a minimum wage and abolish child labor. In addition, the NRA tried to set up codes for governing prices and other practices for every industry. There was a campaign launched to pr promote the agency, and the agency had the Blue Eagle symbol and slogan, We Do Our Part, and that appeared everywhere from storefront windows to motion pictures and in any kind of business, magazines, or movies. Another program that was launched was the Public Works Administration, or the PWA. Its goal was to stimulate the economy through the building of huge public works projects that needed large number of workers. The agency employed people to work on the construction of roads, shipyards, hospitals, city halls, and schools. Many PWA projects, such as New York City's Lincoln Tunnel and Kentucky's Fort Knox, are still around today. The PWA spent its funds slowly. To avoid the future banking crisis, Roosevelt called for reform of the nation's financial system. Congress established the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, or FDIC, to insure bank deposits. The government guaranteed that the money placed in a bank insured by the FDIC would not be lost if the bank failed. This is still true today. Any bank you go to will have an FDIC logo somewhere in the bank which makes sure that each depositor is insured to at least $250,000, so we don't have to go through any of the banking crisis that we did in the 1930s. Now, the New Deal did not cure every one of the nation's problems, but it was helping. Farmers continued to lose their land, unemployment remained at high levels, and many people still struggled to survive and make ends meet. Yet the darkest days has passed. The panic of 1932 and 1933 had receded, and the flurry of activities from the nation's capital had restored some measure of confidence. So that brings us back to our guiding question. What actions did President Roosevelt take to get America out of the Great Depression, and what were the results? So think about all the different programs that he created to help the United States people get out of the Great Depression. Well, that's all we have for today. Thank you. Have a great day.